Okay, so what happened is exactly what I thought would happen, I'm very happy to say. We now have a lovely mushroom and white wine sauce that's thick and tasty. So the last thing we're going to do is add just a little more white wine because right now the mushroom smell is, or flavor is overpowering. And then we're going to taste it and we're going to find out what seasonings are needed to make it taste not homemade and totally original. And we're not going to tell Greg that we use canned soup unless he asks. Because I mean, come on, you totally, you made this soup all by yourself. Nobody needs to know that you went in the pantry and got a can of soup. If you don't want to use cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, feel free to get just some chicken broth. You'll end up with a much clearer sauce. Unfortunately, I didn't have chicken broth in my pantry like I thought I did. I don't even have my own secret ingredient. So, I'm using cream of mushroom soup. Works out just as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so it's a little bit sweet. I personally like my things a little less sweet than it is. So... What spices shall we use to change that? We want, we already have cilantro, basil, and oregano in with the mushrooms, so we kind of want to keep that matching. So we'll take out our dried basil and trusty celery salt, which I love, and a little bit of garlic salt because I forgot to chop up my actual garlic cloves, so we're going to cheat again. Ooh. Keep the heat very low on your sauce. You don't want it to boil because then you'll end up with a thick paste and it won't be the good saucy sauce that you're going for. Alright. This is almost like an alfredo sauce. It's not really what I planned, but like I said, we're improvising because we don't have chicken broth like I thought we would. And I still think it's going to be really good. Italian saucer, that's what I'm going for. So go heavy on the basil. For the oregano. The basil. Yeah, that is basil. Okay. <laughs> that would be bad. I'm just telling you the wrong spices. We used, just to, to reiterate, we used garlic salt, celery salt, and basil. And now we're going to taste it again and see what else needs to be done to it. And then we're going to put our mushrooms in, and we're going to chop up our olives, and we're going to start our spaghetti all at once. So, here we go. We're going to add a tiny bit more water to make it a little more soupy, saucy-like. We, we don't want it like a paste or like, an alf like a too thick alfredo sauce. So I just added a half a cup more water, and now I'm just kind of stirring it in and getting it kind of, it's, well, it's, it's really coming together now very nicely. So I turn up the heat a tiny bit more so everything kind of congeals together. Keep tasting. Mm. Add pepper. I think I actually broke anything. I don't know what that thing is. I don't think I broke anything though. We're good! <laughs> don't tell Greg. That's our rule, right? We don't tell Greg anything that Ori does in the kitchen until after dinner is served. Because otherwise he'll just wake up. And then Ori's not allowed to cook in the kitchen anymore. And that's bad. so that anyone who's actually timing this can do the same. 
As you know, pacing is one of my big problems. I'm not very good at getting everything ready at the same time. That's okay. I'll learn. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. I only just got married in January, and I'm still figuring out all this wifey stuff, like, you know, having dinner ready at a reasonable hour, making sure I'm quiet when my husband is working, because Greg works at home. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'm also learning a lot of really fun wifey stuff, like waking up to breakfast in bed, and what else is Greg doing? Oh, he plays music to me all the time. He plays guitar and he sings and stuff. We're both very musical, but he more so than I. So, I'm constantly serenaded, which is something many girls have always wanted, but I get. Ha ha ha. So there. Alright, of course you can always add more olives, more than I did. Mm. I'm going to eat my olives. Boop. Olive down. Oh, she had. Stir in your olives and your mushrooms into your good sauce. Mm. Cross your fingers so it comes out okay. I think it will. I think it will. I might need to add more spices. Something not right. And I think it's because I used it from a can. I gotta find a way to make it not be from a can anymore. And I think that way is going to be chicken bouillon. I'm hoping so. No, it's not chicken bouillon that we need. It is. Maybe time. Oh, it's time. Time solves everything. Stir that in and hope that that fixes the problem. Right now what I've got, what I'm battling is this kind of um, metal-y, like not very good aftertaste. I don't, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's from the canned soup. Just goes to show that sometimes when you cut corners, you got to cut even more corners to make it right again. Two rights do you need come on? I mean, wait, no wait. Three rights. How's that go? I don't remember. There's a funny saying about that. You can look it up on Google, you'll probably find it. Mm. Much better. Mm. Time solved it. Time solves all kitchen problems. Time, time wounds all heals. <laughs> I'm just mixing metaphors today. Mm. It is going to be really good sauce now, though. So. Add a little bit more garlic salt. Next time I'm going to actually add fresh crushed garlic. I even have the cloves ready for you guys, and I just blanked. I'm sorry, it's been one of those days where I'm just like forgetting things that I was going to do. One of those was to put fresh garlic in my sauce. Still, it's looking like a really good sauce now. So, I'm going to let it sit and taste it one more time. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so our sauce is ready. Hopefully you took note of everything I put in there. I had ground thyme to cover the metal. I had celery salt just because I like it. I had garlic salt because we forgot our fresh garlic cloves. Of course we did. And I have more dried basil that went into the sauce because in our mushrooms we had fresh oregano, fresh basil, and fresh cilantro. And lastly we have olives that you can eat or you can put in the sauce. Or you can do both. Who's good to know? Except for you guys. We got our spaghetti going. In the pan, it's gradually getting ready to boil. So that'll be good. And so I'm going to cut up my bread. And I'll set up my table. I'll come back to you and I'll tell you how things look. And I'll show you my kitty again, who's looking adorable. And I'll see you in a couple minutes. Alright everyone, so here's the table. Um, as you see, we've got almost too much spaghetti and sauce on there to allow for vegetation, but there is a little bit on there, so it counts. We've also got what is not beer, but is actually, once I grab a hold of it, Fox Pear Cider, which is superior to beer in every way. Don't forget that. 
My cat has run off, so you don't get to see her this time around. But I hope you had a really good time. And I will see you guys later. Well, you'll see me. I won't see you. Thanks for watching.